guys and ghouls, so it is now Monday morning, it's about half eight-ish, um, I've just woken up, Mike left ages ago for overtime, he left at like five o'clock or something ridiculous, um, so I just checked my video uploaded from last night, which is good, so I don't need to worry about that when I get home, so I'm going to literally just chuck on some different pyjama bottoms, like my Halloween ones, um, and a different top drive home quickly um, and then I need to get ready to go to the pumpkin patch. I think my friend's getting here around half ten, ten forty-five, um, and then yeah today is going to be a busy day. I feel like there's going to be lots to do, lots crammed in a small amount of time. Come to think of it this is probably the last time you'll see me at Mike's house because um, I'll be staying at mine tonight and then my parents are going away on Tuesday so I'll be looking after our house um, today for my trip home. I'm wearing my Circus of Horrors hoodie. If you get a chance to go see the Circus of Horrors it's so good. Um, this ghosty top from Top Man I think it was. Chickens have come out say good morning. Please lay me an egg. Gonna have some granola for breakfast and add some pumpkin seeds to it. So I have a few things to actually send off today and sort out. Um, I've got the mugs which I bought on Sunday. <gasps> Hello my baby kitten. Hello little kitten. How are you? Oh kitten. Are you okay? Are you having a lovely sleep? So fun fact, I keep all of my spooky box boxes down the back of my bed because they are perfect when I need to send stuff off to people because they're just the right size to go in as a small parcel with the royal mail did I wake you up I'm sorry so I need to find something to wear I'm either thinking my pumpkin skirt although that's quite long um or maybe a hell bunny dress this one has pumpkins on, doesn't it? I've got that one. I wonder where my other hell bunny dress is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this dress because it's got quite a few little pumpkins on it. Although this one is really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. And then I need something to go with it. So I'll have that dress um, and some kind of a cardigan. I've got this cardigan which has like pumpkin buttons which I could wear um, that a lady made for me. Or I may actually just go for like a long, a long cardigan, yeah. Do that. So I'm nearly ready, I'm like halfway through doing my makeup but I'm going to do the rest in the car. So today I'm wearing this hell bunny dress for my long cardigan. I've got my pumpkin socks on with my boots this 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 from um gypsy vibe jewelry this from chris miners and then i've matched my earrings with these evie's here now so yeah we're just gonna go well we've got to go to the dentist first because my mom needs the dentist and then we'll be going to the pumpkin patch from there this is how we're going to be getting to the pumpkin patch on this massive room so I've just finished my makeup. My mum's gone into the dentist, so I was just doing that. The girls have got their glitter Hello. on. Hello. You got your glitter on. <laughs> so we're all glittered up, ready to go pumpkin patching. Thank you. 
trading through all these pumpkins going towards the maze maze I don't think we're gonna pick a pumpkin until a bit later because like <laughs> she does not want to carry one all around I think she obsessed with these boards they look a bit like acorns me <laughs> So we're just gonna go get some lunch now um, and then got a few jobs to do in town. We're thinking of doing some spooky baking later um, and I need to get my nails done because I get in a bit gross. Got some chicken and chips and Evie's gone for like an all day breakfast. It looks like So we're just on our way to Boots now because I want to buy some makeup and Evie is my makeup guru so she's gonna help me pick some stuff. Okay, so we're just going back to the shop. Just got my nails done. How cute. Um, I'm thinking of doing something crazy. Um, I'm buying some orange hair dye, so I think I may dye like half my hair orange tonight. We'll see. Eva's gonna help me, so yeah. Also, I just found out that um, Boots do some orange glitter, like glitter eyeshadow eyeliner, so I'll be getting some of that too. Okay, so I ended up going for this colour. I am actually terrified. Just on our way to the garden centre now so we can do a little Halloween walk with the children. This is a garden centre where I used to work and they have like a kid's Halloween walk around the garden centre. So we're just going to do that now. Um, we're like halfway home. Then we need to go to Sainsbury's because we're going to do some spooky baking um, and not drop my phone. Um, and then I'm going to dye my hair orange later and I got some really cute new makeup so I'll probably do like a mini haul little cauldron flower pots well even though it says that it's for half term apparently it's only on on fridays which is fab it doesn't even say friday on here anyway so whatever we're gonna go ahead go to scenes now and get some other stuff for cooking spooky things since we couldn't go on our spooky trail just in Sainsbury's found these amazing spooky finds Wish I was doing cakes now, and there's some little sugar skulls. We picked up this, which has like a pumpkin, a skull, a Frankenstein, and little a ghosties. Hashtag Year of the Ghost. <laughs> um, we're back at my house now. Um, we decided to do a baking video. We're gonna do some Halloween Rocky Road, which I'm so excited about. Rocky Road is like one of my favorite things. And when we were at the pumpkin patch, I saw some Rocky Road and I was like, we this, resisted. this tempted to buy one. Um, but we resisted and, and we, we decided, decided to make some spooky ones. Yeah. So we've bought the supplies. I now need to sort my bed out. Um, quite honestly, I haven't slept in it since I did the bed video. So I'm just gonna just sort out the plushes that were on there already rather than getting all the rest out. And then we're gonna like film the intro bit where we like talk about the ingredients and then we'll go cook it in a little bit when my mum's come out the kitchen um so yeah that's the plan okay so we've just done our like cooking video i just took my eyelashes off because my eyes are feeling really tired after a whole day of them got my drink in the cup that i got from home bargains the other day that was like 89p and mine's in a love island bottle <laughs> Even in a Love Island bottle. So our haunted rocky road that we made is currently in the fridge, refrigerating. I really want to dye my hair orange right now, but we still need to do like the final clip where we eat it. So unless I do it off camera, do you think? 
know. Do you think it'll look better if we come back here and, and sit? sit? Yeah. And okay. Do it. I'm gonna save it, but I'm gonna. I'm hopefully gonna do it tonight. What time is it? It's only like seven o'clock. So what? We'll be finished filming by like half eight. Yeah. The and then I'll probably do it then. But if not, I'll be doing it first thing tomorrow. Um. So yeah, I was gonna show you the things which I actually got today in Superdrug. Okay. So here's my Superdrug haul. Half of it's Evie's, but <laughs> I'll just add it into my haul. So Lucky Dip first thing. This is Evie's. There you go, Evie. Um, I got some deodorant for Michael. There you go, Mike. Lucky you. Don't say I'll never treat you. Oh, what's that? Oh, some more deodorant for Mike because it was buy one, get one free. And also because I kind of use up all his deodorant when I'm staying there, so I kind of need to. This I'm so excited about. I got this hair dye. I have never used Garnier, Garnier, Olea whatever this is but i really like the shade of orange i'm thinking it's going to create like a kind of what's it called when it like blends from one color to another ombre ombre effect with like orange <laughs> to red um but yeah i think it'll be like subtle on my instagram people are pretty 50 50 whether or not i should go orange or if i should go red um so well i'm as in stay red so i thought i just go both i do a bit of orange a bit of red see how it turns out if i don't like it i'll just dye it red again I got some lipsticks. I got this shade, which is called Dark Night Water Loops. Great. Absolute stunning name there. Um, I have already put this on, hence why it's in a bit of a state. Um, but it's like this dark red colour. I did also get a, another lipstick. I would really like to get like an Urban Decay lipstick. I'm not like a big lipstick person. So I thought I'd buy these like cheaper ones first and see how I get on with them and then you know decide got this in vintage pink i was kind of off by the fact that it was pink because like pink is not my scene um but this one is this color so it's not like too pinky so try those out see how much i like use them within my makeup and then decide whether or not to continue them okay so i'm just waiting for dinner my mom's cooking me an evie dinner tonight and it's nearly ready so i'm so excited we're having like a uh, like mexican basically so i'm just editing some of my youtube clips like my vlog clips together oh, i really wish i could take this makeup off but i need to finish the final clip of our baking video so we just had dinner and the rocky roads were amazing so we're just gonna sit down film the last clip and then um i think i'm gonna dye my hair tonight which is really exciting um evie's probably gonna stay now so we're probably gonna go on that horror walk tomorrow so i'm very excited so yummy right so we've just finished filming the baking one i've eaten so much rocky road and do i care no because it was amazing so um evie's just uh, still eating that so that's good <laughs> um i'm gonna dye my hair now it needs my roots doing anyway i want to dye it orange so i bought this one as i showed you earlier i'm not sure how orange it's gonna turn out it'll either just turn out looking like nothing um it may turn out looking red um or it may turn out looking orange or it may turn out looking orange and red so i don't really care how it turns out i just feel like i want to be crazy i just want to do it i don't want to think about it um and if it turns out looking awful I just dye red over it, so it's absolutely fine. It's not like I'm dyeing it black or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm so excited. Okay, so um, as you can see, I've just been crying with laughter because we've been editing our baking video. So that will probably be up already, actually, because um, we've edited it. It's just saving now. Um, I've had my hair dye in for a good, like, hour, would you say? Yeah, about an hour. Hour, hour and a half, so it's well overdue first impressions it went on looking very brown and now it's kind of ended up looking red so let's hope that's not my scalp bleeding and uh, it's actually <laughs> dyeing my hair orange <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go wash this off now along with my absolutely slaughtered eyeliner um and then i'm gonna dry it see what it's like hopefully then we can upload the video and i think that'll probably be it i would say we're having an early night but it's literally nearly 11 o'clock already so that's not happening we just got out of the shower what a lovely sight that is um and i haven't really looked at my hair yet so i thought i'd just do like a we're just about to do let's do a grand reveal <gasps> that, <is orange. laughs> that looks very orange oh my god i cannot wait to dry this obviously it gets lighter as you dry it so i feel like i'm gonna look like an actual autumn leaf and i am living for it <laughs> so um this is looking very 
orange already and I haven't even started dyeing it I've just literally separated my parting out but at the same time it kind of looks blonde which is what my natural hair colour is anyway so maybe it would just make my roots look better if it goes like blonde ginger red because ultimately the ends are still red okay so my hair is dry now um it's come out very orange like here if I like show you like the box against that you can sort of see they're very similar obviously the rest of my hair is relatively like red still um because if you imagine like a pen you can't put like a lighter pen over a darker pen which is effectively kind of what dyeing is so obviously my roots are blonde so orange is darker than blonde so the orange has shown up but where my hair is already red orange doesn't go over red it just kind of disappears into it so my hair is still like predominantly red if anything it's a bit more like tomatoey red if that makes sense um but yeah, I really like the effects that it gave. I'm looking forward to getting some clips in natural light because it's definitely a little bit more orange, like actually in person. Um, as for the product itself, the colour, as I said, like came up pretty much to scale, like on my roots area. Um, it's left my hair feeling really nice. I did do that oil treatment um, earlier in the week on Friday. Um, and I was worried it would have lost some of its shine, but actually it's kept it really nice and shiny. Even, even down to the ends, they've still got shine. Actually, you can kind of see more of like the orangey tone if I lift the ends of my hair up but yeah it is um it's nice it is predominantly still red I have to say um but what I plan to do is just keep growing my roots out and keep dyeing it orange and then eventually it'll be orange I'm very excited thing is as well I need to think about like jobs because I am nearly finishing my uni degree and I need to go for job interviews and unfortunately within the kind of job industry I want to go into red hair isn't like immediately accepted it's like in the like interview process i want to have like ginger hair and then kind of work back to red in the future so i guess this is like the first step for me getting ready and to go for a job interview which is terrifying anyway evie is up there um editing well she's uploading our baking haul so what i'm going to do now is take this grotty makeup off um and then edit this vlog together and hopefully it'll be ready to go up tomorrow so yeah tomorrow we're going on a little halloween walk again a very casual day my parents are going on holiday tomorrow so i'm gonna say goodbye to them um but yeah that's it i'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail now i'll show you what it looks like in a ponytail and then i'll be going to bed okay so this is it up <laughs> again the lighting is awful um but Evie seems to think that it looks um, a bit more... I think it is more ginger. It is more gingery and orangey. So I'm excited to kind of see what it looks like actually outside tomorrow because the sun never lies. Evie's excited because she gets to um, sleep with Mr. Pumpkin that Ashley mm. O'Neill gave me. Got my lovely soft blanket that Evie's also trying to steal. Um, and then... Yeah, if anyone on YouTube wants to send me one of these, I will love you forever. <laughs> and then um, our new quilt... And then the matching duvet. And then of course like the actual bat sheet as well. I'm literally in, I'm in Halloween, Halloween heaven. heaven. <laughs> Anywho, I need to go to sleep. Jokes, I'm actually going to edit this vlog. And I'll see you tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade. And I'll see you next time. Bye.